What's up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of Outdoors with the Morgans. And what a great place to be. Even though we're all in quarantine, you gotta go out and smell the roses, because right now, they're blooming. Anyway, uh, welcome, to the, welcome to the show. Uh, we're gonna let Mike and Melissa and the crew take it away here in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you guys the beautiful Albemarle Sound in northeastern North Carolina. This is the southern shore, so we're getting quite a bit of wave action from the northern shore with the storm and yada yada. Anyway, sun just set, full, almost full moon is just about to rise, and it is gorgeous out here. Just wanted to share that with you. If you guys do like what's happening on the channel, make sure you subscribe, share it with your friends, leave a like button, and do those sorts of things. All right, take it away, Mike. So welcome back, everyone. Mike here. It is another beautiful day here in western Pennsylvania. Just about perfect. Almost 70 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Really, really nice day. But this evening, I'm going to do my first mowing here. Not the entire yard, just some areas that need it. And then uh, after that, I'm going to go do a little bit of work on the woodshed. At least that's the plan for now. We'll see what Melissa and the kids have going on, but I think that should work out. Now, before we get started and before I get this shiny new machine dirty, I want to introduce you to this uh, new Xmark mower. We have uh, partnered with Xmark mowers. I got to run an Xmark last summer. Really good machine. I tested several different zero turn mowers last year. Uh, the Xmark, this one has a 60 inch deck on it, it's the Laser Z S series. Kawasaki engine on it and one thing that I noticed last year uh, when I was running an Xmark was I don't know if you can see the whole thing's just kind of hunkered down to the ground a little bit you know what I mean they have it figured out on a real low center of gravity because as you know zero turns aren't the best on hills I mean they're wicked fast they do a really nice job on the cut but they're not that great on the hills they slide now I remember from last year the one that I was running did really well on the hills and I know it's because of that lower center of gravity I mean look how low the engine sits everything they keep that weight down low works really well I'm looking forward to running this machine it's fast they have really good blade tip speed uh, they're 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 a professional mower you know what I mean this thing is made to cut grass eight ten hours a day all summer long but anyway, let's fire this thing up and uh, get started. And if I knock this out quick enough, I'll be able to get some more work done on the uh, woodshed. First cut with the uh, Laser Z S Series X Mark went really well. Fast, comfortable, smooth, nice cut, really nice mower. But I got a bunch more mowing to do now, and then uh, then we're gonna go do some work on the woodshed. All right, I got uh, some of the mowing done. Melissa and Hannah have been up here hitting the weights. She had the rower out, the bike out. Piper doesn't look like she's doing much. Coaching, and that's tough. That's tough. She looks worn out from that. You worn out, Piper. She got brushed today too. Oh. What do you think, PJ? Huh? Something in her hair. <laughs> Make sure it's not a tick. Is he good? So how was the mow? Fantastic. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do a couple things here. I'm going to do a little work on the woodshed.
right, uh, we're about halfway with the rafters. I'm gonna need to cut some more on the sawmill, but uh, I'm gonna take the camera over there and show you something. So one of the concerns that I had before I started building this little woodshed was using green lumber right off the mill. You know, rough cut lumber. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to keep everything consistent thickness and width and, and you know, if it would cup or twist or whatever. And I didn't know just how well it would work out framing something like this up. But let me show you these rafters and just how nice they came out. Hopefully you can see this on uh, camera. There's the bottom. There's the top. Telling you what, for a woodshed, pretty nice. So it's going to get dark soon. I was going to put another log on the mill, but uh, it's going to rain tomorrow. I think what I may do is bring some stone down with the uh, RK-55. I put this big stuff in here the other day. That's uh, like number three rock. I'm going to top it with a little bit of 2B before it rains. And then uh, once I'm all done with this thing, I'll put some more stone over that whole area there. And uh, it'll work out really well. Check out how much these, uh, these boards shrunk. I knew they would. I had these butted up tight, you know, tight against one another when I put these up. Quarter inch gap in most of them now. That'll get me a little airflow. Now if I was building something like a little cabin or something, I'd just do board and batten to cover that up. But yeah, this wood's drying really fast. By the time I get this done, uh, it'll definitely be ready to be sealed and stained. I think I got a good lead on a, on a good product for it. What would be really nice is if I had like one full day with no interruptions, nothing else to do to get this wrapped up, but that never happens. I work in like one hour and two hour increments between work, family, there's always something else to do. But you know what? I don't mind doing it this way. I kind of like taking my time thinking things through and trying to build this to the best of my ability. Like I said before, I'm not a carpenter, but so far I'm really pleased with how this is coming out. And uh, like I said in another video, this is kind of like a test. It's a test for this red pine uh, to see how this works, the siding, the framing lumber, uh, because we've got tons of this stuff. I can build a lot of stuff over the next several years out of that wood, having the sawmill. So uh, yeah, this test is working out really well and uh, I'm looking forward to using a lot more of this stuff. Hey, how you doing? Melissa here. I came down with the dogs to check on Mike and he actually just went up to get the RK-55. He's bringing down a bucket of stone. Yeah, so today was a beautiful day. Oh, boy, I'd like the next 20 days in a row to be like this. But I understand we're gonna have rain tomorrow. I'm not sure when this video is gonna publish, so that's, but it probably doesn't matter because Sunny day today, rainy day tomorrow. That could repeat itself again in a couple days. Okay, so on my channel, Melissa Morgan's YouTube channel, you'll find a video of a brief at-home workout. You know? Check I'll put it, it up above so they can check it yeah, out. Check it out. It's just a simple at-home workout. There's ways you can modify it to do it at home and make it doable no matter what your ability is. Here at Outdoors with the Morgan's channel, it's 90 strokes with the rake. 80 
Stand up, sit down, pick this up. If there. you wanted, I could just dump that about three ton of stone right in the middle there and not spread it. Yeah. 60, you could bring the girls down and... loads with a wheelbarrow. Yeah, that'd be even better yet. 50, we'll just leave it up there at the pile and you can bring it down to the wheelbarrow. 50 shovels. Yeah. 40, like it's just, yeah. He, you know, things are much different here at Outdoors with the Morgans for fitness. And the thing is, it's all in disguise. You don't know you're doing fitness. You're doing yeah. outdoor at work. It's going to make a difference. That's great. <laughs> that was my Mike Morgan. Imitation. Yes. Anything else happening? It's going to rain, I think, tonight, I, I did tomorrow. tell you that. So today was beautiful. I said we could have another 20, 30 days of this. But... Oh, I know. And then I said I wasn't sure when this video would publish, but it doesn't matter because today is a sunny day, tomorrow's a rainy day, and you know what? That's going to repeat itself again in a couple days. I know. That's so, all it does here. Yeah. Well, you want to wrap this video up? <laughs> yeah. If you like these videos, click the thumbs up, click subscribe, then you um, the bell icon, you'll get notification when we publish a video. Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And share them with your friends. Thanks so much. This is TJ and Callie from Elkton, Maryland. You just got done watching another great episode of Outdoors with the Morgans, and we just got done cutting up this nice maple tree for firewood. If you like the video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon to get notifications, and leave a comment below. Thanks, and have a day. Bye.